Todd, Bubba Horwitz is in the house here to talk about what's going on with the market. Always good to have a Bubba on the show. Hello to you. Good morning. Great to be here. So you are taking a look at the banks today. Let's start with Deutsche Bank. There's always a lot going on, many headlines coming through. What are traders watching specifically with this stock, DB? Deutsche Bank is, you know, we, we saw it get hit pretty hard off the initial news. Then it rallied back and maybe there's going to be a Now there's maybe a deal, maybe not going to be a deal because the, the whole holdup is there is the fine from the U.S. justice system. But more to the story now, and there's more things coming out, is that the EU might have let Deutsche Bank slide by kind of on the stress test, which becomes a bigger issue because they shouldn't be in this position but because they probably didn't have enough capital to represent what they were doing. So that's a problem that we may be coming to the forefront and you might see some of the U.S. banks have that same very problem. The U.S. banks begin reporting corporate earnings this week in earnest. We have Wells Fargo and a couple of other names coming Wells through. Fargo, J.P. Morgan, and I think and Morgan Stanley, uh, no, Citigroup tomorrow morning. Um, I expect, based on past history, that they're going to have probably reasonable earnings. I don't think they're going to have bad earnings. But one of the issues that they're starting to feel as well is the lack of the Fed being able to raise rates really hurts banks more than anybody else because where they really make their money is by lending out nine times their capital base of what they're holding, supposedly, and putting more money in the street. Well, since they're not really lending and not providing liquidity to everybody, their profits are going to start to fall because they're not getting enough money on the street to make enough money back from it. What's your favorite bank in the bunch? Well, I'm a big fan of Wells Fargo here, believe it or not, because again, I believe that they can't find much more bad news in the Wells Fargo area. So anything from here to me would act as good news. I think they've, they've punished it enough. They've had, you know, they had the guy uh, stump on the hill. They did all the stuff they're going to do, clawbacks, and I think that's already built in. So well, how bad can it be? How bad can it be? Apparently bad when you think the 2008 financial crisis. Well, yeah, well, but hopefully but we're not going back there again. I don't, I don't think we're going to go there. I think there'll be a different reason that we'll see something like that. But the banks are, you know, listen, the banks do stretch out a little bit. And again, when they're not lending, that really cuts into their profit margin. That could be the one concern. What could possibly go wrong?